Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode from the Krebs Coho channel. Today, we are going to be doing a 2v2 on Duclair, featuring a bunch of very good people. I'm also accompanied by my ever so German co host, Sergey? <laughs> Sergey, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hello. Hello, welcome, Sergey. Welcome back to the hello. podcast yet yeah, again, third time in a row. Yay! Because you forced me the third time in a row. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, we're, we're going to be uh, looking at some very good players today. Uh, one, I'm actually going to be looking at the Americans, and Sergey's going to be looking at the PE, since he's such a Vermont fanboy. Um, and, well, I'm basically going to be looking at two people. One going by the name of Pepsi Trust Reloaded, and his partner in crime today is Gen General Dodemir Reloaded, so the uh, Reloaded Clan, versing their opponents, the PE, which I will let Sergey announce for himself. Uh, it's Chuan and Sibai. Sibai, I guess. Sibi or Sabi or something like that. You guys can probably see it just in the uh, little box right there. Chuan and Sibi. All right, so we're going to be getting this game started. Back to normal view. Uh, we're at the five second mark. We're going to be starting three seconds, guys. So in three, two, one, and go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Pokemon! <laughs> Pokemon! Pokemon! Two one! Yeah, we can't figure out what that is, can we? I have absolutely no idea. Pokemon lols. Maybe it's something that they were talking about beforehand. Absolutely no idea. Anyway, guys, these are two very, or four very good players um, playing 2v2 auto match uh, range teams, which is, in my opinion, the real uh, 2v2 way of playing competitively. If you play random match, that doesn't really say that much, does it, Sergey? No, <laughs> because I'm always accompanied by noobs when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I have absolutely no idea how some people get to level 20. I think, like, it's really strange. How do people get level 20 in 2v2 random? Just, you must be, like, really lucky or something. Yeah, I guess so. Well, because if you think about it, you're partnered with people around your level. So maybe if they were really, really lucky and they got partnered with good people all the time, eventually they would move on to better players and not newbies. Anyway, guys, uh, we've got some engineers moving down south, and we've also got a cat and crab capping away. I think it's important that we just c talk about this map briefly. If you've ever watched out any of my other previous ep episodes about Declare, you'd obviously know everything about Declare by now. But for the new people, you've got a whole bunch of places that you'd like to focus on. There's uh, pretty much three places that you can say the action happens in the south, around this area, in the center, most definitely. There's a lot of action, and towards the northern place, there's a lot of action there as well. Just seems to all fun around that area. You've also got some important points such as plus 10 fuel points in the south and north corner. You've also got muni uh, medium munitions in the center flanking them on opposite sides as well are a few other munition points as well. So it's very very critical to hold those in your possession. Sergey, you are getting owned at the moment by a I'm double not. double whammy <laughs> of guys. Yeah, but the Panzer Grenadiers do quite well there. They have no problems. No, no problems, but look at that, the MG is moving up, oh no! <laughs> you'll be okay, you'll be okay. Um, I think there's something that we should keep a mental note of this time around, Sergey. Uh, I think we should count, just in our head, of how many armored cars there are going to be, okay? I'm not trying to spoil this for any of you guys, you guys obviously don't know what's going to happen, but let's keep a mental note to all of us, how many armored cars are going to be on the field, okay? At least two. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Yes, at least two. <laughs> at least maybe one. That's a small tip. <laughs> at least one, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we've, so we've got all these guys moving down south. That was actually quite a weird way of engaging this map, wasn't it? I mean, everyone was going down south. Yeah, it's quite new for me because normally everyone's focusing on the middle. I know, and that's what usually happens. Uh, well, we've got a Panzer Grenadier blob here. One guy just failed and he's on the wrong side of the hedge. Or maybe he's doing that on purpose, I don't know. Uh, yeah. No, maybe he's doing it on purpose to get to the hay bale. Uh-oh, there's action going right across the map. We've got some guys down south. We've got some guys up there. The Overall, the Americans are getting owned in the center. Um, yeah, but the PE gets owned in the middle, uh, in the south, because yeah. he's in this house with just one window. That's I know, a big that's, mistake, I guess. I know, that's a big mistake. Because if you guys don't know, I mean, whenever an MG is firing at a window like this, a single window, they're firing at that guy directly, and you're only shooting using one guy to fire back at that MG, which is just doing a third of the damage. 
whilst they're taking full damage. So it's not really a good option to be actually doing that. At least he's getting out of the house there. Uh, but overall, it looks like the Americans have actually pushed the PE completely out of the center and the south, which is not too good at all. Looks like the PE aren't even on the field at the moment, apart from a cat and crowd. Yeah, but you know, there's the first um, armored car. Well, already? Yeah, it will be out soon. It's in building progress at the moment, but... <laughs> Gosh, four minutes into the game, already an armored car coming out. Yes. Wow, that was fast. That was fast. How many squads does he have? Um, he has... Three. Okay, three so squads, we, indeed. So he's cut it short by one squad. Um, yep. Man, that was fast. Usually... Usually it'd be another two minutes or so before an armored car would be coming out, but that was really quick. Oh my gosh, MG. MG right there. Too bad he can't grab it, eh? Why wouldn't he be able to grab it? Well, he, I mean, he that. could. Of course he could. I mean, you can grab it if you have one guy, but but I'm saying he'll lose the entire squad then. Yeah, that's true. But the American I mean, would lose an MG. They would lose an MG, but like then you'd have to sacrifice what your Panzer Grenadier squad and basically force them to become a MG. Yeah, you know, that's the only unfortunate thing. But I don't know. That could have helped a lot right now. It is the tough. It is a tough choice. Um, I think most people actually wouldn't grab it. Uh oh. Well, armored there's car. the first armored car on the field. Yay! Uh, I don't know. It's it's going to be difficult for this armored car because you got uh, machine guns right there. You know, as soon as they bring out those armored piercing rounds, that could be the end of that armored car. Yeah, I know. All right, Sergey. So let's start counting. That's one armored car. Yes, Mental indeed. notes. First armored car. First, second one is in building. Third one is in building. So, okay, so there's gonna be three armored cars. Yes. All right. So, well, this is actually quite a common strategy for PE, double PE, anyway. Um, that they go, both of them will actually go double armored cars. Obviously, there's different strategies. Some people will go for T2, get a mortar half track. The other person will go for armored cars. But another valid strategy is to actually go straight on over for the armored cars. Uh, American being very smart here and actually putting down a mine over here. Maybe he was anticipating um, something coming through that area. Oh, that's not good for the armored car. No, 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 no. It's going to be definitely taken out. I mean, especially when you've got bars. Whoa, did you see how many, many damage they did to this armored car? Yeah, very fast, eh? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, poor armored car. It was <laughs> it's, it's quite funny that, if you think about it, I mean, it's an armored car, yet bullets can destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Very armored. easily. <laughs> it's armored car. Armor and bullets. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Anyway, but, uh, you know... Uh, bars and HMGs can easily destroy these armored cars. They really, really need to be careful here. Uh, Americans have a very standard strategy when there's two Americans, double Americans. They sector. always, almost always go for um, one goes barracks, another goes the uh, weapons support center. But what yeah. is this? Another one, another American has gone for WSC as well. Did he? Yes, because, well, hold on. Actually, no, 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 he hasn't. Because I'm just looking on the field. He, uh, because both players have an HMG. So I was thinking that maybe he, what, both of them had a WSCs, but no, one of them actually captured that HMG that was killed a little bit earlier. And what we actually have is that the WSC person, uh, Gen, or General Dodemir, is actually skipped on up to the motor pool, obviously because he does not spend so much fuel on upgrades from the barracks, so he can just skip right on up to that and start thinking about fast teching. Maybe an M8, maybe even uh, AT guns to counter these armored cars. Oh, that's another MG lost for the, for the Americans. Never MG lost, but I mean, then again, remember, the PE can't even pick it up unless they have uh, more... Four-man squads, yeah. Yeah, four-man squads, right? Oh, armored cars coming. So how many has it been so far? There's two on the field right now. Yeah, it was three. Okay, just three. Not bad. And this armored car took a huge amount of damage from an AT gun. Oh, that was close. But mortar half-track right there. Oh, but there are so many bars on the field, uh, that's not good for the mortar without support. I think the mortar half-track was actually trying to destroy this medic bunker by throwing incendiary on it, but it's not even damaging it. It's hardly damaging it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange. That should is strange. Little... I mean, it should actually damage it quite a bit, don't you think? I mean, it should, anyway. Yeah. We're talking about balance. AT half-track is on the field, by the way. Oh, is he using focused fire? Yeah, he is. 
because, I mean, he was nailing those squads right there. Volksfire is a brilliant ability, uh, guys. Basically, what I actually used to do, um, probably two weeks ago now, but what I actually done for fun when I was playing PE is I would go for an AT half-track spam. Now, that doesn't really sound like a great thing to do, but it actually is very brilliant. If you've got the munitions spare, uh, say if you have three AT half-tracks, focus firing, you'll just annihilate squads. Uh, very, very easily. Uh, keep it in mind, maybe it's a strategy you like to try out. Only thing you got to be careful of is if they retreat, because then you've wasted all that munitions. But, overall, it looks like the Americans have the center right now. Uh, PE needs to get back into this. If you were in the PE, PE's hands right now, what would you be doing, Sergey? Um, difficult question. I think I would try to flank them with my... I'll go around them with my armored cars and run into frontal into them with my what is it called Sturmgewehr 44 troops. What? It's an MP44, but it's not really an MP. Oh, the, so. ST, the STG44. Yeah, STG means Sturmgewehr. Yeah, actually, quite a few people have actually been saying that on my channel that it's meant to be called the STG44, not the MP44. Apparently, it's a mistake in the game. It's not a mistake in the game, it's a general mistake, because a lot of people do that in real life as well, but it wasn't really an MP, because it has a completely different mechanism. It's, an, it's a Sturmgewehr. If you want it so, it's an assault car uh, carbon. Carbon? Carbon? Carbine. Yeah, carbine. Um, but our great leader thought, nah, sounds crap, let's call it Sturmgewehr. <laughs> our great leader, yes, <laughs> our great leader. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's quite interesting actually because a lot of people have been mentioning that and I suppose it is quite a common mistake. But I'm surprised the Company of Heroes wouldn't have picked up on that actually because I mean they must have had historians in this game um, if they could make it, you know, if they have all these different things in it, right? Oh geez, massive assault here. Lots of MP40, uh, STG 44s <laughs> out of the field. How oh, one squad has really to get out of there. I know, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh no, retreat! Retreat! Like so! Nah, oh, he's gonna stay there as long as he can. Oh, but he's gonna get away surprisingly. Very good. And so I it looks like this jump. overall assault is not being too successful for the PE. I mean, I, I think they should be retreating their armored cars right now. Oh, oh yeah, gosh, they look at down. that. The armor piercing rounds and the uh, M8 just absolutely annihilated there. And an immobilized M8 armored car. That is actually probably the worst decision ever by the PE. Why would they do that when there's AT guns right there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a bit strange, really. Really, um, if you would put um, push in now, that could be that could help. What I mean, there's Americans just one MG left. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm, they should actually throw down use the mortar on top of that uh, MG. They should. But they're not going to. And oh, here comes the backup, though the reinforcements of uh, bars. Not good. So in terms of doctrinal choices, we've already got the infantry doctrine for one of these people. Um, I believe for Pepsi Trust, because he was placing down mines with his riflemen, which means his defensive operations selected by the infantry doctrine. Uh, also, Dodemir, what has he gone for? He hasn't actually selected anything yet. Well, we have double um, Luftwaffe for for the PE. And it looks like, well, it looks like one of them actually went down along the left-hand side and has got yeah, full Schimjägers, so he must not have the actual Luftwaffe squads right now. But I believe it's only one CP, so it's not even that much to get. Oh, there's a lot of PE infantry incoming. Oh, nice, 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 Frederick. This Look at that. It's just, it's like a drive-by, isn't it? It's Nine like kills for one squad and just veteran C1. That's insane. 9 kills, 10 kills for one of them, 10 kills for the other one. And the full Shoemaker, what is he doing? I've, ah, retreat full oh, I retreat. think he's trying to micro. Look at so. Oh man, look at all those guys going down, the flames. Wow, this is, this is perfect. Look at this, oh my god, look at all the casualties. And the MG, what is the MG doing? No! Why is he retreating back? Why is the PE retreating? Ah, oh, uh, double MG. No! Bad for the P. Bad for the P. He can at least take Can't out the MG right there. And maybe if he gets an armored car around the back. Yeah, he's doing that. He's doing that, Sergey. How will the American counter this? 
By turning his MG around. <laughs> yeah, and sending oh, in a little bars. Oh no, he bars. needs to get out right now because the bars are coming. Oh come on, Run. come on, no. Oh, no. I don't know. Bars do a little bit too much damage to Armored Carl, I think. I mean, they really killed it within seconds. I think they should be. I I think I actually agree with that slightly. I think they should be nerfed a tiny bit, not do as much damage. Maybe a nerf of like 15% damage or something like that, slightly. Just because if you think about it, a single armored car really won't do that much damage. So until until you have multiple armored cars, but then again, it's it's still quite difficult, isn't it? I don't know. It's 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 a little bit difficult. I can't really come up with an exact figure right off the spot, but they do do a lot of damage, to be honest. Uh, up north, we've just got a single Panzer Grenadier capping the VPs. So 319 for the PE. They are a little bit down in comparison to the Americans right now in terms of VPs. So they need to be a bit cautious. But this is what I was talking about in the beginning. It seems like all the action really funnels towards the center. Everything is just over here. Yep, between the both victory points. Yes, of course. And we've just got two uh, medic bunkers down as well, so this is a horrendous situation to be in for the PE because they need to take out these uh, medic stations before they keep before they start uh, raking in, raking in all these free bar squads. That's the last thing they need. Um, how are they going to do that? I'm not exactly sure. I'm not really sure to be honest. I mean, uh, they've got AT guns, they've got MGs. What they could possibly do is maybe do a flank around the back, the behind. You'd have to do it from multiple directions. Yeah, the problem about the PE is they have absolutely no artillery in this game, I guess, because they are both Luftwaffe. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad for them. Because I, I was thinking that, because if they're both Luftwaffe, they can't even get artillery. So maybe if at least one of them was uh, scorched, scorched earth. earth, yeah, exactly, scorched earth, and it'd still be a wild way until we could get the homo. But I mean, it's it's working towards there, isn't it? Yeah, you really need artillery in this. Oh game. no, one PG squad down, another one. Oh, veterancy, just about to oh, down. Oh, huge losses. Huge. Bad assault this time. Huge armored losses. car down as well. No. So how many armored cars has it been so far? It's like, uh, I think five or six. Around there, probably, yeah. Oh my gosh, those Thompsons and the uh, rifles really shredded those guys. It's it's difficult. Uh, it's get difficult to be honest uh, when you're PE because you got three man squads. I mean, you you're easily can e lose your squads even if they have veterancy at veterancy one, for example. Um, I'd highly recommend it. It's a bit awkward. I highly recommend but getting four squads, uh, four man squads. You'd have to get obviously get a logistics company. Logistics company is a bit awkward because you know you don't really get anything much from it to be honest. Um, but definitely, if you're going for loads of infantry, you need four man squads. Oh yeah, we got the Panther Battle Group ready uh, for two one. Do you think the Panther Panther Battle Group is needed though right now? Well, at least he could charge in the bases and do a little bit of damage there. I and, don't know, like, I think... And make them fall back to the bases. Panthers good are good, obviously, but they're more so... They're not really great against uh, killing infantry and AT guns. They're more so against other tanks and uh, buildings. So I'm not exactly sure if it's what they need right now. Mm, I mean, if you can handle it, the Panther Battle Group is always helpful. I suppose so. Thousand manpower, though, remember? Yeah, I know, but that's just 500 for one panther. It's relatively I suppose, cheap. I suppose there's, there's different ways to consider. I mean, we have different opinions, right? I mean, we obviously play this game differently. Um, we've got an armored car just coming up, and these guys are setting themselves all around, just trying to avoid this mortar half-track, because these mortar half-tracks are really try doing some damage here. Uh, but overall, we've got still quite a bit of anti-infantry for the Panzer Elite. Maybe what they need is some sort of tanks, the Americans. If they could bring out some sort of uh, Shermans or M10s right now, I think that could definitely do some damage. See, that's what the Panthers are good for. <laughs> <laughs> to counter an M10 spam. Yes. Oh, MGs. Oh, what? Yeah. How did they get suppressed? They weren't even close to it. Guys on the side getting suppressed. Oh, well. Oh. Close, close, close. Volshemaker's doing a good job here. Yep, pretty good infantry. Yeah, especially when you get veterancy. Really important. Yeah. I like what the uh, uh, PE are doing with getting a defensive veterancy. 
rather than offensive veterancy. I actually like that just because it obviously makes more sense keeping your guys survive, uh, survivable for longer. Yeah, I mean the the Fauci Mega do seven damage, so that's that's insane. It's like a Knight's nice crossholder. <laughs> I don't think really the offensive veterancy helps that much anyway. It just helps with cooldown and penetration. But then again, if you don't have a Panzer Shrek, it doesn't really matter. Oh, artillery on the mortars! Move oh. back, mortars! Move back! Wow, look at that delay. It took a long time. They could easily have gone out of there. But I don't get it. Why does he give his mortars defensive? That's useless. Um, that's. A I good mean, question. okay, it's close to the front, but that's both a good offensive question. makes it shoot faster. See, I'm not exactly sure. I think it actually does because I think offensive energy actually does help with more than half tracks. Now, um, I actually mentioned this to you like a few days ago when we were playing just a normal game. But I mentioned to you that I got defensive de veterancy for homos. Okay, now you might be asking me why would I get defensive veterancy for homos? Well, uh, surprisingly enough, it says on a uh, Company of Heroes wiki, so this is according to the wiki, that apparently the offensive veterancy doesn't actually help with uh, firing faster for your um, for your uh, homos. They don't actually you don't uh, reduce the cooldown or anything like that. It's uh, actually just the reload, so the reload time is faster. That's it. Uh, so defensive veterancy actually is a bit helpful because you can move faster, you have more health, just in case if you get actually, uh, you know, targeted by a uh, spam of tanks, for example. I don't know, I prefer offensive. <laughs> <laughs> or artillery. Yeah, but have you seen this in the middle? The what, mortars the, did a quite yeah, the lot morty. of damage to these pioneers, engineers, sorry. I know, they killed a lot of guys, but remember, those, uh, that med those two medic stations are right there. Yeah. So true. easy, easily able to pick up any dead guys. They're getting so many squads out of them, though. They really need to try and take them out as soon as possible. I just don't know how they're going to do it, though. If they're going to do it, they need to actually move forward, push these guys completely back. But that's going to be difficult to do. I know, I know. I actually have no idea what they could do as Luftwaffe. Well, really. There's no houses behind the lines, so it's difficult. Really difficult. Oh, snipers. Ah, that's what I hate about. Oh, ho, ho, owned. He got absolutely massacred. I think he got critical by an uh, armored car. Yeah, but there's a lot of anti tanks firing at the armored cars and mortars, and oh, oh god, a lot back. of Americans this is, are engaging. This is bad micro. This is very bad micro. Ah, oh, damn it. Armored car down. <laughs> Better NC2 riflemans. Oh, jeez. Not good. Not good. Uh, getting veterancy for, or when your opponent, the Americans, gets veterancy, that's the last thing that you want. Because for the Americans, it's very important to get veterancy. I mean, veterancy is a game changer for the Americans. Without veterancy, they lose. With veterancy, they win. That's how you can consider it. So basically, it's a denial of letting them kill your guys, also making sure that you kill their guys, right? Yeah, I know, but it depends. If you are low on... on um. What is it called? VPs, you can lose even with veterancy. I mean, I had le uh, a game a few days ago. I had three veterancy, three riflemen, and two veterancy, three um, airborne ranger, and I lost. <laughs> it was a shame. <laughs> it was one of these random 2v2 I think, matches. I think, I think that's your fault, Sergey. No, it wasn't, because <laughs> my mate wasn't doing anything. He, had, he was Brit, and all of his bosses stand in his base, his starting location, and he didn't do anything. He built mortars, uh, uh, not mortars, MG. MG's everywhere. <laughs> that's why you don't play uh, random. Too yeah. Much. I think that's just uh, the exact reason why you don't play, because it's just, you get paired up with literally anyone, you don't know what the uh, skill levels are, usually they're not so great, right? So that's why a lot of people prefer playing uh, ranged teams. This howitzer shoot really just uh, it really pushed back the uh, PE right there. The PE were just about to move in in mass with the Panthers and the uh, uh, STG 44s and all these uh, armored cars. They were just about to move in there, and fair enough, they actually would have done, I believe, actually a lot of damage. But the well, uh, shoot. I can't, I can't say it would be good to to go in front of because there's three anti tank guns. Even a Panther can't handle this. There's three anti tank guns. Oh, sh <laughs> oh god. Okay, maybe not. Um, so maybe it wouldn't have been the best, but I don't know, it looked like they were going to be doing something there. Armored cars, I'm just seeing tons and tons of armored cars on the field right now. Uh, 
Ah, I stopped counting. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There's really a lot of armored cars, despite them like getting constantly destroyed. Imagine if you had like a Burgatier. Yeah, well, but the wrecks are all destroyed. <laughs> I know, they're all destroyed and they're all on the, in the middle as well, so not really gonna help there. Oh, all these squads moving in. More drive-bys! Oh no! Bolshemeager killed by a nuclear pineapple. Yeah. Oh, and artillery on the 8-8. Why did he build an 8-8? Hey. That's not helpful! It's usually more so against tanks, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely... Maybe he's trying to snipe the AT guns, but I mean, he doesn't even have the sight, so it doesn't matter down. anyway. Yeah, and now it's... Oh! oh! Right on top of that half-drag. Oh, poor anti-tank half-drag. They were just... <laughs> the Americans were just sending over a free uh, salvo. A free shell oh. to their half-drag. Panther is about to... Oh, he nearly missed the mines. Lucky Panther. Oh god, look at those AT oh, guns. Oh no! And he turned right on top of it. He missed it, but he turned on top of it. Whoa, that's, those AT guns are doing huge damage, even though they're not penetrating. Enemy unit Ouch. Oh, you know, why would you attack with your last Panther? You know, I think the one problem right now with the PE is that just losing way too many guys. Yeah. Oh, Camouflage can't crowd. I think he's doing this uh, because he wants sight. Or maybe for the snipers, to get the snipers, maybe. Oh, look at that! See, the can't crowd huge sight on that uh, sniper, but it doesn't matter because the armored car is dead. Yep. Got oh down. my god, look at all the casualties. Look at all the vehicles going down for the PE. Yeah, that's so bad for the PE right now. <laughs> armored car destroyed. <laughs> we just saw like three armored cars get destroyed in the space of a minute. This is absolutely awful. Oh, did you see that? What? One squad of the PE moved into two mines that were really far away from each other. I didn't Complete. See it. Was it down south? Yeah. Oh, this, I this it. two crates. Yeah, I did. One squad triggered both of them. Our are taking did they die? Yeah. Oh, God. Entire squad is dead. Ouch. The PE are so unlucky. I mean, they're taking so many casualties right now. Uh, surprisingly, Dodomir is still not selected a Doctrine. I don't exactly know why. Um, maybe it'd be a good idea. Well, actually, what do you think would be a good idea? I think I should maybe go in for infantry and getting some more howitzers would be absolutely brilliant right now. Or Calliope. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Calliope. That, I mean, that's, Calliope that's, can kill everything. That's, that's a brilliant idea, actually. The Calliope would actually just end this game right here and now. I mean, the Calliope can change every game. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, me and Sergey and Nico had this one game uh, a week ago or something like that, and basically we actually pushed these guys. Literally, it was for three, 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 three Red Bull Express. We pushed them literally back to their base, the as when we were in front of their base, even attacking it. Clypes came out, and we lost. Now everyone <laughs> will think we're noobs. <laughs> <moves. laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Bernard? Oh God, a lot of veterans for these riflemen. Oh no! Fauci Mega, I have to get run, out of there. Run! And the armored car as well, run! I think he's suffering it so he can save his Fauci Mega. No, but he could have easily have gone out of there. Yeah. Oh, Veteran C2 for the next rifle squad, oh god. It's just constant, it is just absolutely constant um, destruction against the PE right now. I mean, they're just dying all the time here. I mean, they are very aggressive, that's good, but. Aggressive at the wrong flank, maybe. Yeah, the PE are being aggressive as well, but they're being so aggressive that they're just going straight on into AT guns and everything. I know, I talked about the PE. Oh! Howitzer shot! Howitzer right on top of the armored car, taking it from full health down to zero. Uh, yeah, there's <laughs> one Howitzer in the American base, isn't it? Already <laughs> two vehicle kills. It's like full health and then down to zero in just one shot, directly on top of it. Yeah, but sometimes there's these games where you're so unlucky. You know, uh, uh, entire Fauci making a squat down. I actually just gotta wonder how the hell, despite all these losses, the PE still have so many units. Well. They still have so many guys out on the field. Yeah, the uh, question is for how long? Oh no, next armored car got sticky. Yeah, it's gonna be okay though. It's mobilized. Fantastic. Oh, butterfly bombs. 
Butterfly bombs are actually really useful. Oh, Sergey Clypey! Oh no! no! <laughs> this is this is definitely the end of the world now. Not even of the battle, it's the apocalypse. The apocalypse has come onto the field. And another two stickies on this panther. Oh, this did a lot of damage to the panther. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not going to survive that. A number uh, two stickies probably could finish it off, and then they'll get a whole bunch of veterancy, no doubt, from destroying a panther. Yep, yeah, here we go. Let's see the veterancy come down for the Americans here. Has to destroy the panther. What? Uh, oh, wow! Very surprising. One more yeah, sticky will do the trick. I'd really like to see this veterancy what they get actually. One more sticky, come on, I think they're just waiting. Come on. Yeah, there we go. No, oh, no it's a grenade. grenade! That was The grenade really killed the, the gun. Wow. Oh, get out of there, punch me, get out! Oh, we got double veterancy on the rifleman squad for destroying that um, Panther, so veterancy is zero to two. That is really good, I mean the veterancy for rifleman is absolutely stupendous. I mean, it, it, you can throw stickies farther in veterancy two. You can, uh, you're you're just a whole lot stronger. Your survivability goes up. Your damage goes up. Your accuracy and everything received accuracy goes uh, up and all that. It's just absolutely stupendous. Just how great it is. Clypey coming down here, destroying a vet two mortar half track. Uh, that's it for the P, I guess. Surprisingly though, the PE still have a lot of territory. I mean, the Americans are just capturing up north, but they're actually moving down south. Oh, and we have another Panther battle group. Why? Because you can never get enough of Panthers. Maybe yeah, but now it's more time for something else. <laughs> no, I don't think... More how armored cars. <laughs> yeah, no, for example. No, this armored car is just sitting right there again. Hands of force. Wow, this is certainly. Yeah, I've lost count of all these armored cars. I, I I probably lost count after like five of them. <laughs> I the title of this game was 29 armored cars. So basically, in this game, this entire game, about 29 armored cars were made. I've never heard of that many made in a game before. Not even a 4v4. Why are they not picking up these bars? But why is the Panther sacrificing himself to take out a Calliope? I don't know. Oh, oh god, a lot of... Whoa! Yes. That was nine rifle, man. Nine? Hey, I guess uh, at least it has nine kills. Three, six, seven, seven. All right. Seven rifles. Oh, yeah, oh my so. god. They threw themselves into the uh, behind, the back of it. Yeah, but, but they couldn't even finish off this one Calliope. Not worth it. Not worth it at all to lose two Panthers, thousand manpower. I just don't understand the reasoning behind Enemy it, like, why why would you try and go up, uh, between a bunch of riflemen with stickies to Man, try and destroy that? a Clive? This panther, it's immobilized, but it's still driving. What? <laughs> How does that work? This chain is broken, he's so into it, he's he's raging! He will he's not like, stop! Oh, I got it! He's taking one for the team. Oh god! All this veterancy is absolutely madness. You can just see it coming down. How many vet squads do so we have? Veterancy 2 squad for the riflemen. They destroyed a tank there. We've got another veterancy 2 squad. Uh, one veterancy 2 rifleman squad has two infantry kills and one tank kill. And it's veterancy 2. Yeah. Oh god. Calliope. So bad for the PE right now. I just don't even know what to say sometimes <laughs> to all these casualties. But do you see that? There's so many bars lying around on the field. There's one. Let's see. One, two, three. Three, two, two. Where's three? Um, near the munitions point on the right of the middle. Or on three, top of the middle. Yeah, there's three. I don't see why it doesn't grab them. Ah, oh, this flak is just by itself right now. Nothing supporting it. Except imagine one armored car. <laughs> imagine these riflemen would capture it. Oh, that would be amazing. It would kill all the armored cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah. one armored car has 23 infantry kills and one tank kill. Wow. What kind of tank did it kill? Uh, AT gun, maybe. <laughs> I don't That's know. not a tank, it's a light vehicle. Mm. Ah, whatever. I have absolutely no idea, to be honest. Uh, Sherm two Sherman Calliope's out. 
Oh god, even worse. Yep, so there's lots and lots of artillery. And a lot of these games, it actually seems to come down to an artillery war. It's like whoever has more artillery sort of wins in the long run. Yeah, I know, I hate this. It really is a bit frustrating. I actually posted a thread on the Company of Heroes forum about artillery and what people think about artillery spams. And there's actually a, a general consensus. A lot of people actually don't really like the fact how artillery works in this game. Basically, it goes into a cycle of you bring your guys to the front, you try and dodge an artillery strike, but that doesn't happen. So you have to retreat as soon as you bring your guys back to the front. It's another artillery strike, and it just sort of becomes a repetitive cycle of artillery, which just doesn't make the game fun anymore. Um, yeah. And I don't know, I think there needs to be a little bit of changes in terms of the artillery. The Henschel is killing the Calliope's now. <laughs> Yay, Henschel! <laughs> 200 munitions for something that doesn't guarantee to destroy stuff. Yeah, and it is out of the uh, field of dis destruction. No. Yeah, oh no, the rifleman captured the 88! Yay! <laughs> well, they're gonna, yeah, they're about to be taken out now. Oh, what? Was that a, a butterfly bomb? bomb? Yeah, I think one of the guys on the ET must have uh, activated it. I guess so. Yeah, and it killed one of the... But we still have more armored cars! Yay! This could make the difference. Oh, did you see that rocket from there? Long range. range. Dude, that was very long range, actually. Yeah, and even following. Oh God damn it! I know it's like a curveball. It's like baseball, wasn't it? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> the Americans are doing a good job, just pounding away at these. Oh, these P. They just lost another Folschmieger squad. Oh, bet three for Rangers. That's awful. And they are so been... unkillable. Enemy and we still got yeah. even more. Medics coming. You know, despite all of this, it really looks like the uh, P are taking a whole lot more casualties than the Americans. But despite all of this, uh, Dodemir has four rifleman squads, one Calliope, one AT gun, and one engineer. That's really not as much as I expected. Um, Pepsi Trust has, oh god, uh, one, two, uh, five riflemen, one ranger, one sniper, two, eight, one AT, one howitzer, three AT, sorry. Oh my gosh. That's I don't know, I don't think it's really fair. I mean, every fraction has medics. Why not the PE? Well, then again, I mean, well, the uh, PE have a Burgatier. Yeah, okay, true. <laughs> they can get back vehicles and no other faction can get back vehicles, right? So, I don't know, it does, it balances out a little bit. Plus, the PE can also get a... Uh, uh, defensive operations and heal their guys up like other factions except the Wehrmacht who have to pay for medic kits which are overpriced and yada 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 but um yeah I think it's I think it balances out yeah oh. okay, yeah didn't thought about the Burger Tiger Burger Tiger for the rescue but these P are trying to do as much damage as they possibly can as well they possibly to be fair they are doing now better than in the beginning <laughs> I know, they're actually, despite losing about a uh, hundred guys, they're they're fighting like Spartans right now. This is Sparta! They are 300, taking on the Persian Empire. The one million soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> they will do it! They can still win this game! No, oh no, not. don't charge at them. Don't charge at them. Please retreat, retreat, retreat. Okay, good. Oh god, don't lose the squad, don't lose this Falschmiger. Oh, please, uh, Falschmiger! Run! Run! Now I'm just a bit worried about this Panzer Grenadier squad. <laughs> no, run! <laughs> <laughs> run, they're, Hans! They're running for run! Their lives. They're absolutely running for the lives. We have a to our victory. Well, 72 points left for the PE. I think we know how this is gonna end, Sergey. They can still win by drop hacking! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh gosh. Butterfly bombs going off, but still, the P Americans, I don't. They definitely are gonna win. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Chu Wan really tried to drop hack them? Do you think so? Yeah, did you Did he actually drop? Points. Or did he just lie? No, but I think he um, he pulled out his land cable because I don't know if you know it, but if you do that, there's a chance 
that you drop the enemy. Uh, he didn't actually purposely try to do that. I don't know. Well, it just lagged there quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah, I know, but they, they called him noob. I guess that was what he tried. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't doubt it, to be honest. I mean, this happens quite often with our games, doesn't it? Yeah, but normally the people drop them. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I don't I don't know. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell if somebody's actually trying to drop hack, for example. And just a word for all of you, please do not use hacks. <laughs> I've mentioned that in one of my previous casts, but map hacks and drop hacks really do ruin this game. It's just not it's not fun whatsoever. I mean this is absolutely a brilliant game. Please do not use them. I mean it really just destroys it for not only yourself but everyone else. It truly is boring to hack. Oh gosh, uh, this is this is just about the end of the game, I suppose. Uh, what do the PE have left? One armored car, um, a Luftwaffe squad, and two Panzer Grenadiers for two one and one Falschmäger. That's not much. You know, despite all this, they still been uh, they still actually held in for quite a long time, didn't they? Yeah, but now in the end, when the Calliope's are on the field and stuff, nah, they're totally... There's actually quite a few Calliope wrecks on the field, look at that, there's one, two, uh, two Calliope wrecks. Yeah, I guess so. That's not bad. It was the Henschilds. But quite a bit of Panther wrecks as well. Yeah, they suffered Armored their cars. too much. What else is there? There's an M10 wreck. Calliope yeah, to really the rescue! Oh. oh! Wow! That just demised that squad. Oh well. There's really nothing else to say. I think he's just sacrificing his guys now. What the fatherland? Yeah, they definitely just gave up. I don't even think they're moving their guys anymore. That's true one gone. And the last brave troops. Well, I think that's the only squad left, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the last two soldiers of the fatherland. Oh, and there's a captain crowd. <laughs> oh yeah, it's. Oh look at that. Trying to capture, but it got destroyed. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess we might as well just start talking about like where they went wrong. So, I think overall the PE just went wrong because their micro wasn't there and they just lost everything, wasn't it? Yeah, and they totally tried to get through the middle all the time. I mean, the the northern flank was open most of the time. They could easily get in their bases even with a few, for example, Panthers or Panzer Force, destroy everything. Or at least for the Americans to, to go there and clear up, so they... I know, can you imagine if they actually got some Panzer IVs, like some sort of anti-infantry or stuff like that, and just parked it in the middle of their base? Sure, they might actually lose it, for example, you know, okay? Uh, they took a lot, of, a lot of casualties in this game, but obviously we recognize that they were willing to lose units. So, say if they were gotten Panzer IVs and just parked it in the middle of the American base, that would have destroyed so many uh, guys riflemen, it would have destroyed so many buildings, the Americans would have to have actually forced to retreat their uh, AT guns from the middle, and that could have left the P to bring in their um, infantry over to over there, kill the AT guns that are falling back, or even capture points. Yeah. Oh, it could have been totally different if they just uh, tried some different th sort of things, but even if they wanted it's... to play more conservative, just not being so bold and losing their vehicles so easily, I definitely think that. Um, whenever you're playing PE, you do need to learn how to uh, keep your survivability up. So if you have a problem with keeping your guys alive with any faction, go play the Panzer Elite and master that. Because once you've mastered the Panzer Elite, you have mastered every single faction and keeping them alive. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, game. Uh, quite a strange one. Something like 27, 29 armored cars produced in this one. Uh, just definitely could have been changed differently if the PE done so a few different things. But overall, well done to Pepsi Trust Reloaded and General Dodemir for winning that matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But of course, Sergey, until next time, right? Yeah, <laughs> if you force me again. No! <laughs> <laughs> but until then, guys. Oh, and a quick message. Um, 
I guess I can let Surya go, but a quick message, I just need to let you guys know that I'm actually going to Poland next, uh, actually on Sunday. So I'm going to be doing three casts this week, one to release next week. So I'm going to be keeping it hidden, private, whatever, to release na next week. And I'm not going to be uh, pulling out a Harlequin on you guys, so I'm not going to go away on a holiday and just not come back ever again and not produce casts. I will be back, it's only a few days. But anyway guys, until then, see you all later. Bye-bye.